For today's strategy, I will be showing you an amazing strategy that could double your account size in months, as it uses 1 is to 2.2 risk to reward ratio. This strategy is amazing, as I enjoy scalping low risk high reward ratio that is really profitable, as it assures me that in the long run, I will always be profitable, no matter the market condition. It was back tested 200 times, and it is very easy to understand. The Bitcoin news or trend still sets in profits when using this strategy. It was recently discovered, as the strategy uses just two indicators, which makes it very easy and user friendly for beginners. So watch to the end to fully understand the strategy. I will back test it 200 times with an initial account size of $1,000, with a 1 is to 2.2 risk reward ratio. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as it really helps the channel. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section, as there are a lot of traders willing to help. Okay guys, so for this strategy, we will be looking at the Bitcoin United States dollar tether, and we are on the 15 minutes time frame. For this strategy, we will be using two powerful reversal indicator to catch market tops and bottom, and it gives a high win rate ratio, as its trade entries are at points in which we get to ride new trends. So let's quickly go over the indicators we will be using to better understand the strategy. Now before we continue, like I said earlier, we hunt for reversals using this trade, so please. If you do not enjoy trading reversals, you can simply move over to the next video for trend-based strategy. So as we move on, go ahead and bring up the indicator panel. For the first indicator, search for the Boom Hunter Pro by Verifid. This indicator is the ultimate indicator for targeting Verge FT long entries and Epic Shearer. Boom Hunter comes with super fast oscillator that uses Eller's early onset trend. So we will be using this indicator as our main indicator. And for the second indicator, go ahead and search for the Reversal Finder by NS91. This script is used to visually highlight candles which may signal a reversal following a false break of a support or resistance level, as we would be using this to identify our point of entry from our main indicators. So as we can see there are a lot of script on the Boom Pro indicator, as we would be adjusting the settings to better fit the strategy, and for clear reading when using the strategy. So go ahead and double click on the indicator, on the style setting. I want you to untick the first and second quotient, then change the quotient one from blue to red, and also change the last quotient one from yellow to green. And when you are done with that. Simply go ahead and untick all the other scripts on the indicator, as this would be the only two script we would be needing in order to make this strategy work. And when you are done, simply click on the OK button to fully apply the settings to your chart. And for the second indicator, bring up the settings panel. On the style, just untick the long signal and short signal and you are done with it. Now let me quickly explain what these indicators identify in the market, before we go ahead to give the conditions for a valid buy and sell signal. And at the end of the video, we will be back testing our strategy. So the Boom Pro has two lines on it, as when the green touches the red, it shows a build up in buying pressure, whereas when we see the red line touching the green line, it indicates a build up in selling pressure. Now for the reversal finder, we will be using it to determine the points of reversal in the market. Make no mistake, we could notice losses when the market is trending, but when we combine both of these indicators, we should be able to get good trade entries that could double our account size in weeks. So let's quickly dive into the rules for our entry guys, as we will be back testing the strategy to know if it's worth using. Now for a valid buy signal, we would want to see the green line on the Boom Pro. Touch the red line is our first confirmation. Then we would want to wait till we see a green dot at the bottom of the price action, before we go ahead to place a buy stop order at the trigger candlestick. So here, we could see the green line on the Boom Pro touching the red line, as this is our first confirmation. So we need to wait for a green dot below the price action. Now let's move forward till we get a green dot below the price action. So here, we could see we got the signal to enter this long trade at this point. As we see we had a green label below this candlestick, so we would go ahead and and place a buy stop order at the peak of this candlestick. Our stop loss is at the recent swing low, while take profit level is at 2.2 times the risk. And we see it was successful. Please note that once we see the green line touching the red line on the Boom Pro, this means that we would only be taking long trades. Once we see the reversal green label below the price, as we ignore all red label from the reversal finder while our long trades last, 
Please note also that when we get a green label below price action, while we get the green boom pro touching the red line, we would ignore such trades. As we see here, we had the green line touch the red line and while it was on the red line, we got our green label from the reversal finder. So we would be ignoring this trade. Now keep watching as we go over our entries for a short trades, as well as more errors to void while we use this strategy. Now for a sell trade to be valid, it is exactly the opposite of our buy entry. We would want to see the red line on the Boom Pro. Touch the green line is our first confirmation. Then we would want to wait till we see a red dot at the top of the price action, before we go ahead to place a sell stop order at the trigger candlestick. So here, we could see the red line on the Boom Pro touching the green line, as this is our first confirmation. So we need to wait for a red dot above the price action. Now let's move forward till we get a red dot above the price action. So here, we could see we got this signal to enter this short trade at this point. As we see we had a red label above this candlestick. So we would go ahead and place a sell stop order at the bottom of this candlestick. Our stop loss is at the recent swing high, while take profit level is a 2.2 times the risk. and we see it was successful. Please note also that once we see the red line touching the green line on the Boom Pro, this means that we would only be taking short trades. Once we see the reversal red label above the price, as we ignore all green label from the reversal finder while our long trades last, we take as many short trades as our reversal finder could identify, as we would be changing the reversal direction. Once we see the green line on Boom Pro touching the red line, Please note also that when we get a red label above price action, while we get the red boom pro touching the green line, we would ignore such trades. As we see here, we had the red line touch the green line and while it was on the green line, we got our red label from the reversal finder. So we would be ignoring this trade. Now let's quickly go over some few examples, to make you better understand this strategy, as we would be back testing the strategy at the end of the video. So here, we see we got our green line on the Boom Pro touching the red line, as well as having the green label below the price action, so we would be ignoring this trade here. As we move on, we see we got another buy entry as we can see the green label below the price action, and this trade is valid because, the previous movement on the Boom Pro is a bullish signal. But this trade would have been lost as it did not hit our 2.2 take profit level. Now we move over to the next trade, which we see here, and we would be placing our buy stop order with our stop loss, at the recent swing low and take profit at 2.2 times the risk. And this trade was successful. As we move on, we could see we got the boom green line touching the red again, as we will keep taking long trades, or otherwise, we would change to short trades. And as we move on, we see we got the red boom pro line touching the green straight line, so this signifies that we would only be taking short trades. Once we see a confirmation signal from our reversal finder, as we move on, we see we got a green label, but we won't be taking the trade, as we only take short trades. Now move on a little further, and we see we got our red label above price action, as we would be taking this trade as well. And if we move a bit further, we would also be taking the next trade. and we could see both trades were successful if we opened them, with our take profit levels a 2.2 times the risk. Ok traders, now we are fully equipped with the strategy. Let's quickly back test our strategy, with an account size of $1000, and we would be back testing it on 200 trades, as we risk 1% of our account size on each trade. Without wasting much of the time, let's go on with it.
So we just finished the back testing for this strategy, and we can see that the results are amazing. We had a win rate of 64% in 200 back tested trades, having won 129 trades and lost 71 which made us 212% return on investment. And I found those wonderful trade setups within 7 months. Although commissions and spread fees would eat up some of the profit in real trading, because it was not included in the back test. So you definitely want to expect that number to be lower when trading life. The profit factor for this strategy is looking good I guess. And we had 5 wins in a row against 4 losses in a row. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with these results. Okay traders. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.